Welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here because today I'm gonna to resolve a problem I've been having with my Kubota B2601 compact tractor, and that is the throttle. I've been having problems lately where the throttle will not stay at high RPM. When I have it revved up to the uh, 540 PTO mark, it drifts back. And uh, the last time I used my wood chipper, I had to tie a bungee cord to the throttle lever here and strap it down just to hold it open uh, at uh, basically wide open throttle to get to that red mark for the PTO operation. So I'm gonna take things apart today, resolve the problem, and if you have this problem, you can do it too, so stick around. Welcome to my cluttered garage. You know I'm really glad you're here. Yeah. Just to make things easier, I took off the front end loader assembly. You probably don't have to do that, but I just want full access. So I think just getting that out of the way is gonna be a big help. So what I'm gonna do is open the hood and I'm gonna take off these side panels and then we're probably gonna to have to take that shroud off around the steering column. These side panels just lift right off, which is pretty nice. And to remove this shroud, there are a couple 10 millimeter bolts to be removed. It's not gonna come off completely unless you take off the steering wheel, but at least it'll pull back and we'll see what's under there. I really like these little cups for holding your hardware. They've got a magnet on the bottom. They hold your screws in place, plus the magnet lets you stick the cup onto anything metal. So they're really handy. I will uh, stick an affiliate link in the description if you're interested. All right, let's lift this off. The linkage for this assembly is pretty basic. Just a rod that comes down and it's attached to some linkage to this throttle on the engine over here. Uh, there is a compression spring, not much adjustment. It looks like it's all the way tight, but I'm gonna see what I can do to tighten up some more. I'll show you with a little action cam here to give you a close up. If we look in here, you can see this is the rod that comes down from the throttle control, which is just a solid rod that goes all the way up to the lever. And then there's a little compression spring in here with a lock nut. It's compressed, it looks like all the way, but maybe a little turn will help. And then this is what the throttle pushes against, what that lever pushes against. And you can see that's the throttle control. There's a coil spring here, it's really tight. I guess it's made to be that way, but there's a lot of resistance on that, which is what's pushing back on that lever. So I'm gonna crack this lock nut loose Try to tighten the other one just a little bit, maybe a quarter turn or so, and see if we can compress that just a little bit more. So you're gonna need two 14 millimeter open end wrenches or two metric adjustables, but there's not a lot of room in here, so I'd recommend picking up a couple wrenches if you don't have them. Let's see if I hold that back. And that's tight. Back off that lock nut, tighten that one. There's a maybe a quarter of a turn. I don't want to go too much. Give it a little try. Very nice. Now, I don't want to lubricate this thing because I don't want it to, to get loose and have that problem again, but there's one friction point where I can see that becoming a wear point, and I don't really see where lubricating is gonna make things too loose. So I'm just gonna use some of this WD-40 gel, which I recently discovered, and it's pretty neat stuff. Look how it sticks right to it. 
Move the throttle back and forth a little bit. Yeah. I like it. Now I just have to tighten that lock nut on the bottom to make sure things don't come loose and then put the whole thing back together. You put these panels back on the same way you took them off, only in reverse. Seriously though, the best way to do it is to line the top pin up. There's a pin on the top, line that up, and then you rock the bottom one in, and as you're rocking the bottom pin in, there's a little pin up front here. They all line up. There's also one pin right up top here. And then everything snaps down. You'll have to mess with this steering column boot just a little bit and just get all that back in place too. Well, that is going to do it. Not a bad job at all. A bit of a knuckle bleeder because it's kind of tight in there, but very, very doable with just a couple hand tools. So I want to thank you for watching today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us because we have a lot of fun here. Just ask anybody. And you might want to check out this video right here. And here's the link to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.